Hey everybody, this is Jeff Perlman, founder and CEO of Zojo, and Zojo 2021 release one is out, so I'm here to give you an update on that, tell you about everything we've done. And I figured, well, I could sit at my desk, but hey, we've all been inside you know, way too long, and it's a beautiful day here in Austin, Texas, so why not do this outside? So first of all, we've made over 170 bug fixes, which is great. Uh, that improves stability and reliability. And there's over 100 other changes as well. Now we all spend a lot of time in the code editor and we've made a lot of great improvements there to not only the code editor itself, but to autocomplete. And that's just going to make uh, coding a much nicer experience. We've also made great improvements to the PDF classes that we've recently added. So if you're using those already, you're gonna enjoy that. If you're using JSON, you're gonna find JSON processing is much faster. And for desktop and console apps, you can now use graphics translate, uh, graphics rotate, restore state, and save state in your desktop and console apps. For those of you building iOS apps, we're now using iOS uh, 14 SDK, which is a requirement by, from Apple for the iOS App Store. And we've added a new user authentication class, which allows you to easily, very, very easily, do Touch ID and Face ID. If you're building Mac apps, we're now using the macOS SDK 11. So if you're doing declares, into new APIs for the Mac for Big Sur, you'll be able to, to do that now as well. And for those of you that are using Big Sur, you'll notice that the IDE is now using new icons in the toolbar to make it look very much native and, and snazzy on Big Sur. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you know that Apple has released new Macs uh, that run on their new M1 ARM processor. Well, now the Zojo IDE is native. Of course, in our last release, we, we made it so it builds native apps, but now the IDE itself is native. Uh, the worker class, which you can use for multiprocessing, is also now native on the M1 Macs, as well as Zojo Script. So we've got lots of M1 support in this release. So those are the highlights. Again, over 170 bug fixes, 100 other changes. Uh, there's something for everybody from uh, more M1 Mac support to improvements for iOS, improvements for the web, and even improvements for desktop and console apps. Again, the code editor is looking better and better. I think you're really gonna enjoy this release. And thank you for your continued support.